<sighs> you guys asked for it, another tutorial. This is the cart full. This tutorial is for people who can already do a front flip, who can probably do a front half, Burani, front 180, whatever you want to call it, and who has a decent cartwheel. If you can do all those things, then keep watching. If you can't, then look elsewhere. I don't have tutorials for any of those things. It's too, too basic. So the cartwheel is a pretty easy trick. It's one of the first tricks you should learn. I mean, it's technically two tricks. It's a cartwheel and then a full twist. But the difference is, it's not really a full twist because the way you come up the cartwheel, you're already like facing this position. So it's more of like a, it's more of like a cartwheel to like a front flip half twist. You don't want to think of like cart B twist. You don't want to think of like cart and then do like a full back twist. Think of it like a cart front that you half twist. Now obviously, before trying this, you want to have a decent cartwheel. There's two types of cartwheels, and I'm not going to go into it too much, but I'll show you the two ways. There's the gymnast way. The gymnast way starts facing this way, and then you'll end facing this way. Now the tricker cartwheel is like sideways to sideways. You want to do it more like you're some kind of wheel, or you're some kind of little UFO or I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see the difference between those two cartwheels. But the one that we're going to use today for the cart full is the tricker one, the side to side. Now you want to try and have your feet fairly close together when you're coming out of the cartwheel because if they're too far apart, you're just, you're not stable as you're going into the front flip. And now for the cartwheels, this ain't no cartwheel tutorial, it's a cart full tutorial. At this point, I'm going to assume that you can already do a decent trickered cartwheel. And then the next step that I would suggest is cart front. So it's a cartwheel to a front flip. You're going to be coming out of your cartwheel, not fully round for the front flip. Your feet are probably going to be still 90 degrees off. Land here. As you're coming out, let your arms come up and come round to the front flip position. Even though your feet will probably still be at 90 degrees. But if you come up to here, you get your chest facing the direction of a front flip and then, yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> Whoa! So once you can piece that together, really all a cart full is, is a cart front with a half twist. Now listen, I know what you might be thinking, this cart full tutorial is just me saying learn cart front then do a half twist. That's because that's what it is. Most people seem to think like it's a zone type of trick. There's a lot of people out there who can already do front flips and front flip 180s and they're not even thought to try cart full. So that's what the meaning, that's what the purpose of this tutorial is, is to show you what the skill technically is even though it's called a cart full when it's not really a full. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope this isn't a big old waste of my time. If you can do a front flip, then you can figure out how to do a front half. I don't know, there's loads of stuff online for that. Learn cart front, get it solid, start to turn your hips a little bit more, like just get used to that feeling in the air, and you'll find that it's very, very easy to twist. It's almost easier to twist than a normal front 180 because the cartwheel and the way that you already pull 90 degrees into the front flip, it naturally kind of turns your body anyway into the cart full. You just gotta work on that, then you got cart double full, you got cart triple full, you got cart quad if you're Johan or Goth, then yeah, it's just easy going. I'm just explaining all of this stuff from standing cartwheel. You can also run into it, you could just do like a straight run into it, or what most trickers will do, they'll like do like a turn setup run. So it's kind of like this. If you're still having problems with this, you can't seem to figure it out, leave me a comment and let me know what your problem is and I'll do my best to get back to you and help you out. It's a pretty easy trick. Don't put it on a pedestal, don't think that it's too hard. Just do a cartwheel, pop it up into a front half. And if you can already do a B-twist, try doing cart B-twist. That's not a good way to do it though because it means you're going to cheat it way over the side. So the good thing about the cart front method is, it means that you have no choice but to go up and over but when you do it the B-twist way, when you do it like a cart B-twist, 
it means that you're almost prone to dropping the shoulder and going immediately over the side and you don't want that it's just gonna make your life harder when it comes to like triple falls and stuff that requires you to get that height that you need from that lift you know you know hopefully this helped in some way or another if it did please hit the like button maybe you've got some friends who you think like might be able to do this and if you do share this video with them it might help them then you guys will be able to spam cart folds together let me know in the comments what should be the next tutorial i get a lot of suggestions all the time i can't do every trick i just want to do the core fundamental tricks because everything else is just sort of a building block on top of that and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe i'm making content like this all the time vlogs, trampoline park, tricky on ground, all sorts of stuff. So if you want to see more of that, hang around, hit subscribe, hit the little notifications bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. Goodbye. I hope this helped. I really, I do. I hope it helped. Triple eye twist. Right, my old favorite. Oh, man. Easily. Pulling back up. Ah, on these tramps, it's so blind. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's so dark. Oh, you done it. You know what you guys need to do for me? 